Hello, my name is Carlos Rivera and I'm the Director of Health and Human Services. On behalf of my department, I'd like to thank you for this opportunity to come before you and present the Health and Human Services Fiscal Year 2014 Proposed Budget. During Fiscal Year 13, the Health and Human Services Department focused its efforts on aligning goals and programs with the needs and overall health of the community by conducting a community health assessment, otherwise known as a CHA, and developing a community health improvement plan known as a CHIP, and, a com and creating a departmental strategic plan. The data gathered and action plans resulting from these endeavors positions HHSD to strategically address community needs in key priority areas identified in the CHA, namely the chronic, chronic disease with a focus on obesity, the built environment and transportation, and the built environment and access to healthy foods, both of these categories as they relate to our underserved and underprivileged populations. Additionally, access to primary care and behavioral health with a focus on navigating the healthcare system. The department's been very busy on, on the operational side. Environmental Health Services Division issued over 14,000 permits, which keeps our restaurants, pools, and temporary events patrons safe from disease and foodborne illnesses. The Women, Infant, and, and Children's Program, otherwise known as WIC, assisted over 421,000 women and children. The Communicable Disease Program had over 13,000 visits for sexually transmitted diseases and close to 11,000 client visits to the tuberculosis clinic, or TB. Through our neighborhood centers, HHSD provide, provided basic knee services to 65,000 clients. Finally, HHSD administered over $19 million in contracts with approximately 67 community-based providers for services such as basic needs, workforce development, mental health, and child care. <clears throat> Next slide is the sources and uses of funds. The Health and Human Services Department's fiscal year 2014 proposed budget is $63 million and includes funding for 415 positions. On the revenue side, the department obligation is $28 million. Grants comprise 70% of the departmental revenue and 31% of the department's total funding. For fiscal year 14, HHSD expects to be awarded $20 million in grants. These funds support 210 employees or 51% of the department's employees. Program fees account for 28% of the revenue or $7.8 million. The majority of fee revenue comes from two sources. 3.7 million from environmental health services, which includes restaurant, mobile vendor, and pool permitting, and $3.2 million from Travis County for the provision of countywide public health services. On the youth side, the, the Disease Prevention and Health Promotion Program totals $12.4 million and includes disease surveillance, immunization, STDs or sexually transmitted diseases, TB and refugee clinics, and chronic disease prevention. Grant funds 5.8 million or 47% of the disease prevention and health promotion program. The maternal and child adolescent division includes programs such as early childhood development, WIC, and youth development. The Macaw budget totals $8.5 million. 71% of the division is funded through grants. The environmental health program is entirely funded by the general fund with a total budget of $4.6 million. This program and the One Stop Shop program are HHSD's primary regulatory programs which focus on health and food inspections. The social services contract includes both grant and general fund social services funding. This program invests $26.3 million in workforce development, child and youth services, basic needs, and homelessness. The grant funded portion is primarily Ryan White funding for HIV and AIDS related services. The community service program manages the neighborhood centers, the African American Quality of Life Initiative, and the management of social services contract. This is 4.6 this 4.6 million dollar budget includes 38 percent of grant funding. Next section is the revenue highlights, um, program fees and revenues. The uh, department projects a 12 percent increase in departmental revenue from program fees, with a primary increase generated from the Travis County Interlocal Agreement. The estimated increase in this contract is $525,000. The Environmental Health Services revenue is projected to increase by $155,000, primarily due to fee changes. The Office of Vital Records is anticipating a $115,000 increase in revenue due to, total, due to demand for birth certificates. 
The disease prevention and health promotion program revenues related to Medicaid and Medicare reimbursements are expected, are expected to increase by 59,000. There is, however, also a net reduction in grant funding for fiscal year 14 of $284,000. This is primarily due to the ending of the Texas Healthy Adolescent Grant at $112,000, an emergency shelter grant at $108,000, and a HOPWA grant, which is housing for people living with AIDS, of $70,000, and also Ryan White Part A reduction of $215,000. These reductions have been partially offset by increases to various grants, including refugee grants, the refugee grant, which is a $122,000 increase, and the STD grant, which is a $91,000 increase. HHSD continues to monitor with contractors for future federal grant reductions. Our budget highlights. The work, workforce development funding will be moved from the sustainability fund to the general fund. It'll be a $1.1 million uh, transaction which, with no service impact. There will be a decrease in one-time funding of $600,000 for Child Inc. Child Inc. receives early childhood funding for Head Start program through CDBG. As a result of the city manager's review of unmet service needs, the budget includes funding of $114,000 for a senior sanitarian to support the increased demand for plan review and inspection services in the One Stop Shop program. HHSD is a critical component of One Stop Shop by providing initial plan review for all new construction and remodeling projects for food enterprises, public or semi-public swimming pools and spas in Austin. This position will assist in addressing delays and obtaining building permits from the Planning and Development Review Program. Our CIP highlights. Um, the CIP, the fiscal year 2014 CIP spending plan is $1.6 million and those dollars will be spent in the following categories. The Betty Dunk Dunkerley Campus infrastructure improvements or Betty Dunkerley Campus will have infrastructure improvements. Um, these are primarily to resolve drainage issues and improve ring and road lighting and create a second entr entrance into our, into our campus. There will be parking lot expansions at our Far South and Montopolis clinics, and also at the WIC and immunization clinics. The, we will also have a project going on at the Women and Children's Shelter and the Montopolis Community Center, which is, will be a shared facility between the Health and Human Services Department and the Parks and Recreation Department. Other departmental topics. During um, 2013, the uh, Health and Human Services Department began the process or actually finished the process of participating in a federal government's program that allows Texas to conduct demonstration projects with Medicaid funds. This program promotes health system transformation and will allow HHSD to expand services in several areas, including permanent supportive housing, tobacco and health disparities such as diabetes and infant mortality. This federal program extends through September 2016. Specifically, in, in the area of permanent supported housing, we will be able to provide an assertive community treatment support team to recently housed individuals who are chronically homeless and who have trimorbid conditions such as co-occurring co -occurring psychiatric and substance abuse and, chronic, and chronic medical conditions and are in need of additional support systems. We also have a project for pre and postnatal programming or pre and postnatal uh, women, and we will use community health workers to improve birth and 12 month postnatal outcomes with an emphasis on African Americans through increasing access to prenatal care and health literacy. We will have a community diabetes project, which will provide culturally appropriate diabetes self management education to our population. We will finally have a tobacco prevention and cessation project. This program will focus on 18 to 24 year old populations in Travis County. The final thing that I have to talk about is our public health accreditation process, which is part of the health departments um, joining with the national drive to standardize public health practice uh, in, in, here in Austin. The department is moving aggressively to be amongst the first in Texas to receive accreditation as a local public health entity. As demonstrated through the use of qualitative and quantitative tools, community health assessments, strategic planning and implementation, we are committed to reaching this goal of accreditation. 
HHSD is on schedule to submit the official application to the Public Health Accreditation Board in January 2014. That completes my presentation. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to call me or my Chief Administrative Officer, Kimberly Maddox, or uh, Carol Bar Barish for media inquiries at the following numbers. I want to thank all of you for your interest and your support of the Health and Human Services Department. Thank you.